Well, before surgery, um, the effect on my life with the, the, the problem out of the hip must have started about five, five years ago. It was really impacting on playing golf, as I say, getting out of cars, confidence walking up and down stairs. It was progressively getting worse to a point where you said, this is, this is not right, you've got to get something done, you know. Well, the pain for me knee, it was stopping me from doing my work by myself. I was having to get other people to pick things up and move things about for me. So it was hindering what I was doing. The grandkids would come down, the young ones, they'd be running about, they'd only have to touch my foot and the pain would be horrendous. Uh, I thought I was just a grumpy old granddad, which is true. I had to make our robot system to do the operation because I've worked with robots in the past myself and I know how accurate they can be. Nothing against the surgeons, but a robot, once it's programmed, programmed properly, yeah, can't get nothing else better. My name is uh, Panos Makridis and my main interest is um, hip and knee arthroplasty with emphasis on uh, hip replacement and with that I utilise the make or robotic technology. Having used uh, MAKO uh, robotic uh, technology on my patients, I'm convinced that it's a revolution to patient to orthopedic surgery. Uh, it clearly offers um, precision in surgery, which is something that we are striving for, and therefore repro reproducibility reduces errors and improves patients' outcomes, which means that patients can return back, back to function very, very quickly with less pain and um, obviously better satisfaction, which is evident. My name is Mark Dunbar, I'm a consultant knee surgeon. and I've been a keen advocate for taking on uh, robotic knee surgery. I think uh, robotic knee surgery is a real step forwards in our ability to deliver a consistent outcome for our patients, which is what we all want to do as, as surgeons. The MAKO system is based on a virtual model of the knee that we create before the patient gets anywhere near the operating theatre. So we, we take a CT scan to create that virtual model and that model follows my patients into theatre. And the great thing is that it can actually make modifications during that procedure as well. So if things change, or if I need to make an adjustment, I can make that adjustment on that virtual model and deliver it using the MAKO technology straight away. What I've seen with my patients so far has been very positive, actually. The trajectory of improvement has been much faster than those that we've done with conventional techniques. I've seen my patients get rid of their walking sticks weeks earlier, they've been able to return to driving earlier, and generally that trajectory of improvement seems to be uh, faster than with conventional instruments. And I say all the staff were, uh, were second to none, very, very competent, very professional approach. Post-op, um, first day they got me up on, on walking um, on crutches, and doing the stair test and then I was discharged uh, in two and a half days so I thought that was pretty good. I was off crutches in uh, just off over a, a week. Um, it's given you another a lot of confidence in that you can go about and do probably more than you were doing over the last two or three years. In terms of mobility I'm as good as I, I was about I guess about eight ten years ago at least. I would say to anybody considering the, um, uh, the MAKO robotic procedure to have no reservations at all, just go for it, there's, there's no downside at all. I was only in overnight after the operation. I was out, I was given sticks to support me, they're supposed to have lasted me about a week before I could stand alone or walk alone, it lasted two days. There was no pain, there was no bruising, there was no swelling. So, I couldn't have wished you for a better outcome. And the staff here, uh, it's like going into a hotel, staying in a hospital into a hotel. The Mako robot has done a, a Boston job. So, I fully recommend it. <laughs>